Ooh, it is really cold to be out here tracking animals. Maybe we should go inside and make some of our own. So sometimes it's really hard to stay outside when it's really cold out. So we can come inside and do some crafts in here. What you're gonna need to do this craft is some cardstock or some paper. Pick out the favorite colors that you like or what you might have around the house or the classroom. You're gonna need some paint brushes, maybe an old toothbrush for a snowy effect if we wanna do that later. You're gonna need a container of water to rinse out your brush and you're gonna need some paint. So you can pick out whatever color you like to make it as colorful or different as you want it to be. Today for our first print, I'm gonna start with some pink paper and maybe some red paint. And for our first animal, I'm gonna start with a deer print. And today we're gonna not only gonna use a paintbrush, we're also gonna use our hands as our paintbrush, so to speak. So I'm gonna dip my paint brush into the paint and I'm going to paint the edge of my hand. So I'm just painting the very outer edge and I'm gonna hold my hands like this and I'm just gonna simply lay my hands down on the paper and then pick it up and what we have is a very rustic deer print. And what you can do, I was talking about the like the cool snow effect you can do. You can dip your toothbrush in some paint and do some speckles and it gives it so much more color and so much more excitement. And then you can take a narrow brush or a marker and you can write deer. So you know which animal print you did. And then we have to start off with our deer print. So one of the things we often think about um, with deer is their antlers. Um, male deer have antlers and they regrow them every year. They fall off, so they're not horns. Animals who have horns, they're always there. They never go away. But deer, they have branching antlers. Um, they also, on their hoof, they have four toes. We usually, when we're tracking them, we only see the two toes that usually push into the mud, but they actually have two big toes and two small toes at the bottom of their foot. So now we're gonna move on to our beaver print. Beavers are one of my favorite animals and we often find evidence out here at Creek Bend. So for this, I'm actually going to paint a large part of my hand. Get a nice amount of brown paint on there. I chose brown because I thought that was the most like finding a track in the mud outside, which is pretty fun. All right, so this I'm gonna lay down the paintbrush. And this you might want to get the help of a friend or an adult to help like push your hand down because you don't want to get it too smudgy. Um, the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna open my fingers up all the way. And notice I only did the four fingers. We will add a fifth. I'll show you how to do that in a second. So you're gonna spread out your fingers. I'm gonna push each finger, trying not to wiggle my hand too much. And I'm gonna hold the paper and pull my hand up. All right, while the paint is still on there, that's all right. I'm actually gonna take my paintbrush and put just a little bit of paint on the very tip of my index finger. So I'm just gonna add one more little digit. So now we got one, two, three, four, five. And then to fill it in, because when they step on a very muddy river bank, their whole foot's gonna sink in. And I'm just gonna connect all their little digits together, just with a simple straight line. All right, so we have five little connected digits. Then we're just going to give it a little claw and they use those for digging and grabbing. And then the last little feature, you are free to do this however you'd like. You could use a finger, you could use a paintbrush. I'm actually just going to use my finger and I'm just going to sort of connect it because beavers have webbed feet. This is what allows them to swim really well in the creek, in the rivers and things where they build their dams. So now we have a beaver print with its webbed feet. And so the last thing I might do 
like we did the deer print, is I'll dip it in the brown paint and I might write beaver. We are well on our way to finding all of our animals of the Midwest. One of the most uh, noticeable things about beaver is their teeth. We often think about beaver teeth. And what's cool about beaver teeth, they're called incisors. They never stop growing. If a beaver never chewed anything, they would actually grow into a continuous circle. So that's crazy. Now that you're all cleaned up, we're going to move on to our last print. We're going to use, I'm choosing white paper this time uh, and blue paint to do the bear print. So again, I'm going to use my hand. So I'm going to dip my paintbrush in the blue paint. If you don't like the feeling of paint on your skin, you can always wear a glove over your hand, like a vinyl glove or a rubber glove, and then paint the glove as if you were painting your hand. All right, so I've painted this much of my hand. And again, you might need the help of a friend or an adult. You're going to choose where on your paper you want to do this. I'm going to do this one a little higher because I did the beaver one so low. Spread out the fingers, and I'm going to push each one down. And then I'm going to hold the paper with the other hand and carefully lift my hand up. It's going to look like a funny little blob to begin with. But we're going to pick up our brush, just like we did with the beaver. I'm going to paint the very tip of my left hand, and I'm going to give it one more little digit. And then with the paintbrush, I'm just going to kind of connect the last little digit and give it a more rounded look because bear prints, their paw, the pad on their foot is more round. So we want to give it that round impression. We're going to connect the digit to the main pad. And then with my very narrow brush, just like the beaver, bears have claws. They use them a little differently than beaver do. But bears do do a lot of digging. So their claws are very useful for digging. They like to break apart old logs, looking for grubs. They like to dig in the ground. All right, so now we have our bear print, which has five digits and five claws. And then if you want, just like we did earlier, I'm gonna switch it. I'm gonna dip my toothbrush into the Use an old toothbrush, don't use your current one. And then we're gonna give it some splatter paint all over it because it adds some cool color effects to the paper since we are just using white paper. So our friend the bear, we often think that they're this big, scary predator, but actually bears are omnivores and they mostly don't want to lose any of their fat that they build up because they are a sort of hibernator. So having that fat reserve is really important. Bears love to graze. They want easy food. They don't want to burn a lot of fat. So bears actually like to eat bugs and berries and flowers. Most of their diet consists of those things. 